Quadrupole Ion Trap Mass Spectrometry, or QITMS, is a mass analyzer designed to trap ions and then eject them sequentially while analyzing them. This is done by placing one ring of AC voltage or radio frequency voltage around it so that the ion stays in the middle as well as two static or DC voltage plates forcing the ion to stay in the middle due to repulsion both on the X plane and on the Y plane. There is also a source where the ions can get into the device as well as a detector when they move out of the device. The main idea is to create a hyperbolic field which keeps the ions in place. The mathematics are beyond the scope of this video but can be described with Matthew's equation and visualized using an AQ stability diagram. So just google those concepts if you wish to understand the mathematics behind this device better. Now in the beginning all ions inside of the QIT mass analyzer are stable within this hyperbolic field. However, in order to detect them, they have to be pushed out sequentially by their mass to charge ratio. This can be done by increasing the RF voltage, which results in heavier mass ion orbits to become more stabilized, while light mass ions orbits to become less stabilized. And this can be utilized in order to push the ions out of the machine. But what if we want to analyze the smallest ions in the sample in more detail? How can we get rid of these larger ions first? Well, this can be done by matching the RF supplemental voltage frequency to all of the ions we are not interested in. So think of it as an RF pulsation which is tuned to the frequency which matches the same frequency at which ions of a particular mass to charge ratio oscillate. Then by applying this RF pulsation it causes a sort of resonance frequency, meaning that those ions increase their movement patterns until they are pushed out of the trap. Something that perhaps makes more intuitive sense is an opera singer singing at the exact pitch matching the natural frequency of a fine wine glass. This will cause it to start resonating until a point where it eventually breaks. You may also imagine that you are pushing someone on a swing and each time you match your push to the velocity of the swing, further increasing its energy. This selective ejection process is especially useful in tandem mass spectrometry since we can use this mass analyzer to easily target ions of a specific size and send them on to the next part of the tandem mass spectrometry stage. If you want to learn more about tandem mass spectrometry, check out this video. Until next time.